Uh, today's Friday. Uh, here's my pickups for today. Um, before I get started, let me just get this out of the way. I am going to be at Clark High School tomorrow. Clark, New Jersey, JC Promotions. If you want to find me, that's where I'll be. Come and buy a lot of stuff from me. Because um, I could always use the money. All right, um, $41. $41. That's what I spent today. Uh, we only went three places, two estate sales. One of them I probably should have went earlier. It was very interesting. I had a lot of stuff there. Um, the one I went to that was closer to me, it's the same person. Uh, they're very expensive, so I barely ever buy anything from them. And then the third place I went to was uh, Goodwill. There's my receipt as proof. Um, first estate sale is not where I got this stuff. No negotiation uh, first day here in the sun. I got this really nice Millefiori paperweight, nine bucks. Normally I wouldn't buy this for that amount. It has a slight surface abrasion, but that's not really damage. Uh, I'll describe anyway. Um, but this has a partial Murano made in Italy sticker proving that it's uh, Italian and Murano and not Chinese. And uh, for nine dollars, I believe I can put this on eBay for between 40 and 50 dollars, and I'm comfortable that it will sell. Um, they call this glass Millefiori made uh, by Murano. They still make it today, but this was probably made, I'm um, guessing 70s, something like that. Anywhere from the 60s to 80s, they were, they were pumping this stuff out, and it wasn't expensive then. Like I said, I think I can get 40 or 50 bucks for this, so that's why I paid $10 for it. Without the label, I went to bought it. All right, uh, the second estate sale I went to, they had this, normally they have nicer antique stuff, but this house was a mishmash. I probably should have got there earlier, I probably would have gotten uh, some decent stuff. Sometimes their their prices are high, but with random nonsensical stuff they don't really care about, they'll work with you. Um, for $15, and I started off with this. See, this I can't put in my showcase. They won't pay me for it. It's too small. Nobody will notice it on eBay. I'll sell that. Um, but I started off with this. I said, how much for this? Now, this is obviously Fenton. Um, it's an older piece. It's not signed, um, but it's a hobnail. Um, you would see Fenton make stuff like this in clear. I don't think there's any damage to it. If there is damage to it, I'm probably going to chuck it. Um, but I start off with this. I'm like, how much? Two bucks. Now, I'll probably put this in my showcase for maybe eight bucks. You know, um, it depends. Uh, they're getting 20% from me. So if I put it in for like five, 20% of five is a dollar and uh, so it's I mean, i'd only be getting four dollars for it so i don't know between between eight between i would price this if i if i don't care about which i really don't too much between eight and twelve dollars this wouldn't be worth my listing on ebay at all but that's why i had the showcase for it. um and i bought these he also he, like i said he gave me everything for fifteen dollars including these boots and at first he was like, they were 10 bucks for the boots. He goes, oh, 10 bucks. He said, you know, just give me 15 for everything. I'm like, cool. Because, and these are nice boots. I'm not going to resell them. They're for uh, my kid to wear. Oh, uh, let me do this first. These look like they're from the 70s. Uh, Gary uh, Carter. And that says, Dight Good. But I guess that's Dwight Gooden. Unless there's a guy named Dight Good. The signature looks a little off. But they are the, they're the Yankees. So, unless they're the Mets, <laughs> I'm not good with baseball. Uh, does it say it on the back? These were basically, you know, almost nothing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check these on eBay, and I'll decide if I'll list them um, together or separately. If I can get 20 bucks for them, or even 15 on eBay, that's more than I'll get. Anyway. Okay. The next thing I bought was soap, and my wife was like, "Really? Why are you buying soap?" Well, the thing about soap, especially vintage soap is people want to buy this stuff either to use or collect and in my mind if i can't sell it if it has very little value on ebay um it's soap i can use it <laughs> i can use it to wash my i don't know face but at least definitely my armpits and my butt right and it's scented so it'll make it smell good uh let's see this one's lavender uh who makes this well, I will tell you straight out, I've sold bars of soap like this anywhere from 14 to 25. So I, I don't know if this is worth that much. Uh, lavender, by appointment to the Queen, Elizabeth II, Robert Gallet. 
Okay. And then this is this was probably a four piece kit. Uh, and again, it's lavender. This person liked lavender. But again, if I can sell each bar here, even for twelve dollars, it'll cost me like four dollars to ship. I mean, that's not really worth my while. So I probably double them. Uh, but if I can sell each bar for fifteen dollars, I would. What do I care? You know. And if I if if it's worth selling this for say twenty for the three, that's fine too. Put it in a flat rate padded envelope. I don't have to worry about the weight. And again, same with this. This is Avon to a wild rose. And again, I'll repeat myself. Even if this stuff, that's got roses on it, and there should be three bars. Even if this stuff isn't worth selling on eBay, and I decide I don't want to use it to wash my um, privates or whatever, <laughs> um, I think I would still be able to sell it at a flea market. Yeah, and then I got this one. So basically 15, like he would have charged me 10 for this, uh, 2 for that, 12, and so everything else I got for like $3. And this one's Yardley English Lavender. Might be the same one. Yeah, okay. Labels are better here. And this is another 3. 3 cakes, 3 ounces each. But I am telling you, I mean, especially if it's a good designer name, I'm just going to say like a Chanel or, or like uh, an older perfume soap. They can go for good money. Uh, oh, okay, Goodwill. I actually, I'm going to have, I have, I did a, a walkthrough spy pen thing with Goodwill, so I might reshoot this so I can do it as the head of the other video. But I'm just including this and I'm not going to include the spy pen walkthrough at Goodwill just because they play music and I don't want my, if I'm going to have one video demonetized, let it be that one. All right. <clears throat> 1659. Okay, for 1659, got a book. Not for me. Um, and then I got these are pretty cool. Uh, if you like the Who, I think John Entwistle was the person um, who drew these cartoons. I think it's on one of the albums, and it's kind of like a, a draw by number thing he kind of did. 181926. And um, he did. The members of the band, as you can see. See? And he has little numbers on them. But this is a mug set. They had them priced separately. And it says set 018. So they were... Uh, that's Roger Daltrey, of course. I would be mad at John Entwistle if he, made, <laughs> he drew me looking like that. I'm like, what is up with that? I've seen I've seen Roger Daltrey. I think he's much handsomer than... But whatever. Um, yeah, so anyway. Two bucks. Set 108. And obviously this is the set. And this is um, Pete. I don't know why it's embarrassing. I can't remember his name right now. Pete Townsend. That's better. And so anyway, it's a set of four, eight dollars. I'll check this online. If these are worth like seventy-five or something like that online for the set, maybe I'd list it. If they're not, you know, then I'll put them in my showcase. And that's kind of my plan. I'd like to put them in my showcase, figuring uh, eight a mug. Right, maybe thirty bucks. Anywhere from twenty-five to thirty-five is what I would put these in. Figuring about like eight dollars a mug, something like that. Because again, I have to knock off twenty percent. So if I put them in at twenty bucks, right, paid eight twenty, uh, I bear. I don't even double my money really. It comes really close on that. So I thought those were cool, and I did walk all through the Goodwill, and I normally don't find anything. Um, in this case, these were sitting there for me, and then uh, there were some hats. Now, I'm going to start buying hats a little bit. These hats were 3 bucks a piece, $2.99. And they had a bunch more hats there, but I picked this one because it's a snapback, which means it's, it should be older. Uh, it's very clean. It says dope on the front, and then it says Mercedes. So it's Mercedes dope advertising hat. I don't know. For 3 bucks, I'm not even rolling the dice. I always get my money back on that. And then I bought this. Uh, this is... 44th President Obama hat, brown, very clean, doesn't look like it was worn. MK hat, not a snapback, because so obviously it's not going to be that old because he wasn't the 44th President uh, very long ago. But three bucks again. Now I know I can sell this for more anywhere. I'm going to check online if um, if this is like 25 or something like that. Uh, I might start. I might actually start giving my friend Daryl. If you're listening to this, I might start buying hats and giving them to you to list. 
uh, depending on value and stuff like that. It might be something interesting for us to mess around with. Okay, so anyway, that's everything I got today. Tomorrow, uh, there's a slim chance I'll be buying anything because I will be at a flea market. JC won't have as many vendors as, say, the Meadowlands. So it's sporadic that I get stuff there. Uh, quick shout-outs to my friends, AJ, ASAP. Oh, uh, he's going to be at the Meadowlands. So if you go to the Meadowlands and you want to find AJ and uh, spend some of your hard-earned cash on him so he can go home a much wealthier person, uh, go ahead. Uh, he'll be at the Meadowlands. And uh, so will um, Nick of Impersonation Films, who I keep telling you to describe, subscribe to. Please do that. Uh, subscribe to these people. AJ, I know, is way off from 1,000. Nick is hundreds, maybe like 600 off. But um, YouTube is killing people with the new monetization rules. So, um, like I said, uh, subscribe to them, even though I know you won't. <laughs> I'm asking you nicely. Please do. Um, and then, of course, uh, Video Gamer Daryl. Who I just mentioned, uh, Bargain Barons, uh, whose videos are actually well produced. I like them a lot. Uh, Nostalgic, he does the same thing. He, if you like uh, Columbus Farmers Market, it's a big market in Columbus, New Jersey. Check his videos out. And there's some, there's other guys. There's uh, Chase After the Right Price. There's um, who else? Their videos are actually pretty quality. And I mean, and then there's the ones that everybody knows. So uh, there's Scrap and Pallet Man. He's pretty good. He's uh, uh, can carry carry on a good conversation with itself. Anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, after this, there will be some some video of of me like looking around at stuff that I didn't buy. What are those weights? <laughs> they don't sell. I'm not interested in that. I just in never saw a starfish before. I was just looking at it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Not Sunday. No, okay. It's Friday. Only two hours of the sale left. <laughs> Basement. Alright. Not for sale. Just random stuff. Alright. Kind of tight. Excuse me? Yes. Is it upstairs too? Yes. Okay. Is it that way? Right around the corner. Okay.
will trip over that more than yeah. anything else. Definitely a trip hazard. Yeah. Over here. this auto speaker oops what's this box oh it's just a box shoes look at those them shoes are old it's all gone, it's all over. Oh, yeah. Ew. Look on Germany, you know, everybody is still on the you know, right? Oh, yeah, we all can get the thing like, no, they're not, you know, nobody no. knows about the old world. Thank you. You have a 20 on the outside. Thank you. Because they're not, those people are not. Yeah, I want to look at the that side. Thing. Thing. Don't have to be Jeanette, did you find something for the man? I'm going to find it in the kitchen. Thank you. I just wanted to put something around it, sir. This is pretty. It's so funny. It's that's really I'll start in the basement. These guys have got a lot of stuff. Right. Yeah, buy that. It's cheap for the case. Got to be like four bucks, maybe. They didn't price a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna find out at the door. <sighs> right, goofy. Look at that. It's for keys, maybe. There's a lawsuit. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that's soap. Oh, wait, it's chocolate. That's old. I had a perfume. Nice and used to pass. It's gotta be perfume. Or soap. This whole ba basement floor just kind of sank a little. Shoes. Too dirty. I'm using it. Thank you for bringing that home. 
So much stuff, probably a million people have been here already. This is an old game. Radio Shack TV scoreboard. Let me look it up. This is the only game related item I've seen, and it's not really worth it. It's in really dirty, gross condition. I'd have to get out of flea market for like maybe five dollars. It might only be worth twenty. You know it's not having any good games. They don't collect that kind of stuff. Let's see. Baseball fan. What's this? This is cool. But it looks like a uh, handmade chubby. Nice fat hats or something. 15. <laughs> I'm just going to scoot around that room. 100. Hey, Marie. They have like safety cones upstairs. You think oh, I wanted to show you two things. Okay. Do you think JC would be interested in a safety cone? Look at this set. What is it? It's silver and turquoise. It's a bracelet. I see. Yeah, it's, it's a bracelet. Uh, it's very dark. <laughs> this is a necklace. Oh, why, why do you like it? I don't know. It's just different. And How I much is it? $4.50. Yeah. Is it signed at least? No. I think it's um, um, Mexican or? No, it's not. I think it's. Oops. oops. I think it's a bow. Uh, I don't know. I would save my money. We need it this weekend. Okay, and the other thing I want to show you is really cool. The only this thing I like is this. I think this early. Year. If we'd come early, it would have been like. What is that? A weapon. Oh, okay. But it's a necklace. All they right. hide it in a 
Yeah, it's fun. Is that's that, like is that scary. Is that's that like sharp. Yeah, it is. But is is that what it is? The master silver yeah. limited. Yeah. Uh, what do they got on that? Twenty. I, I just know. thought it was interesting. I never saw it. It definitely like is that. interesting, but. Yeah. What's this? Twenty-five, just for that. That's sixteen. That's uh, what you call it. What's this? This. They got some pans, if you can use pans. Oh, the, what I was going to ask you is, they have some safety cones upstairs. Uh, JC, uh, maybe? What table do those people drive off? The dresser ring. Here's an old Godiva chocolate box. Empty. 